Hey guys, it's me, Talia Risa Gibson. You can call me Tag for short, and welcome to my channel. Oh no, oh no, I will be okay. I want, I want, I like, comment, subscribe. getting ready to go to the gym i had to do some work this morning and i had a couple of meetings on google meet and now i'm about to go to the gym and then go by the grocery store i need to go to target because i need to get some more of the jamaican black castor oil water spray um by as i am i think that's who it's by um i like that spray to just add moisture to my hair um, when i need it and then um i need to get a couple other things like I need to stock back up on lotion, deodorant, just toiletry things. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm on my way to do. Um, and then I am going to come back and do some things here at the house. I don't know, just kind of chill the rest of the day, really. And um, yeah, so let's go. So it's definitely still chilly here in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. Um, today is 51 degrees, so much better than where we were at, like 30s and stuff. So um, definitely happy about that. Uh, let me make sure I set my alarm. drive by my mailbox too um, I meant to do that earlier and I forgot so since I'm in my car I'm gonna drive around there instead of just walking across the street um, so yeah like um, the townhomes on this side of the street all of our garages are in the back and um, the townhomes across the street their garages are in the front, so. So yeah, as you can see, it's a community of townhomes. So, um, oh, that one has three connected. I just noticed that. Um, but yeah, most of them are like that, like have two, and you can see these ones, their garages are in the front, so the, um, ones that I live in are their garages are in the back. But, um, yeah, a calm, quiet neighborhood, kind of tucked away. Um, over there, you can see the those homes, they are, uh, the garages are not in the front, they're in the back. So here's one of the workouts that I do. It's an ab workout where you're going from left to right with one of the weighted balls. I think this was a weight of 10 pounds, but going left to right and working out those abs. Well guys, I left the gym, I went to Target. I got a couple of the things that I needed. Um, I was disappointed though because I wanted the impossible ground meat because I wanted to make uh, tacos 
videos probably tomorrow or Friday, something like that. So I was gonna get the grain-free shells and also the impossible ground meat. Um, they didn't have it. All they had were the sausages and stuff like that. So um, that was kind of annoying. And then I don't know if it's just that there's a lot of people in this area that use the impossible menu or I don't know if there's just a lot of people who use that product or if they haven't purchased or put new items in stock. I don't know because the last time I was at Target um, like almost five, four or five days ago, they didn't have it then. So it's kind of annoying. really don't want to go to Walmart like especially this time of day honestly going to Walmart is probably better super super early because so many people I'm on my way to Sprouts right now and this was probably a bad idea because I should have considered like the fact that um it's pretty much shower and there's a lot of cars coming this way like this kind of chilly days like it would be great to just enjoy like a cup of coffee I'm not a big coffee drinker like on a regular basis but the problem though is caffeine is horrible for someone who has endometriosis um, it's like one of the things that you shouldn't have so um, every so often I'll have caffeine but um, knowing that it's getting closer to like my menstrual cycle and all that, it wouldn't really be a good idea to have caffeine. And what's crazy to me is like some of the medicine, like over the counter medicine for like um, menstrual cycles, like Midol and stuff like that. Um, if you look at the ingredients, a lot of them have caffeine in it, which is actually not good to even have when you're going through your menstrual cycle. So it's interesting. Even if you don't have endometriosis, caffeine's not really good for that time of the month anyway. But it's just interesting what people say and then what people prescribe or give in medicine. It's just crazy to me. Well guys, it's the next day and so you'll see me like this in the next vlog because I'll continue on vlogging today. But I wanted to close out this video so I appreciate you guys so much for tuning into this vlog. I'm trying to make them shorter whenever I do like just a vlog that's just like regular day stuff. Um, but I want to make shorter videos and trying to stay like within 10 minutes. So um, let me know. I think that's probably better because I think nowadays people don't want the super long videos um but tell me comment down below what do you guys think i appreciate you guys so much for tuning into this video as always don't forget to like comment share subscribe and of course hit that bell notification so you'll know when i post until next time bye